What's going on people, this is Akala and today we're going to be discussing one of my favourite subjects, Africa in history. I have a longer version of this talk, uh, Akala at the Oxford Union, you can go into that. There's a list of books in the description below and a bibliography. Um, where do we start? One of the oldest mathematical instruments in human history is a mathematical instrument called the Ishango and Libombo Bones. These are some of the earliest instances of mathematical calculation in human history. Here's a picture of those bones. One of the oldest astronomical observatories in human history is an astronomical observatory called the Napta Playa, which is in the area between Egypt and Sudan today. Dating from roughly about 9000 BC, but scholars debate on the issue. All across North Africa, you have ancient Paleolithic cave art, over 10,000 years old, depicting people hunting, uh, depicting a time when the Sahara was tropical. Here is some of that wonderful cave art. There's a history of ancient civilizations in Africa. I haven't got time to go in all of the controversy surrounding ancient Egypt and Eurocentrism and Egyptology and attempts to remove Egypt conceptually from Africa. Uh, but here are some pictures of some ancient Egyptian pharaohs. You judge for yourself how African you think these people were or were not. But outside of ancient Egypt, there are a whole host of civilizations and societies throughout Africa um, prior to European colonialism. And that's really what we're going to be looking at over the next few minutes. A quick uh, journey through 5,000 years of history. Let's go. So first you have the region of Africa that today is Sudan. Uh, and there are a range of civilizations here um, in what some people call Nubia. Um, so ancient Nubian uh, kingdoms of Meroe um, and Napata. Then also you have a Christian kingdom centuries later, around uh, the year 1000 AD, the Empire of Mercuria. And they built churches like this. This is a reconstruction by a Polish archaeologist of a church from the Empire of Mercuria in what is today Sudan. These are some Nubian pyramids. You have the Abyssinian Empire in the country Ethiopia or the Aksumite Kingdom in the country that is today Ethiopia. You have in Ethiopia a range of churches dating from the 12th century and these are some of the kind of most masterful building projects even though we can't call them building. If you look at this church for example, Lalibela, they didn't build, they dug down into the ground and carved the church out of a mountain. These 800 year old churches and this is what they look like inside. In Eastern Africa, in today what is Kenya, in that region you have a civilization called the Swahili Confederacy. These are the ruins of Great Zimbabwe, built of 100,000 tons of granite bricks held together without any cement by the Shona people of Zimbabwe, dating from the 14th century. So in West Africa, you have a history of empires and civilizations, the Kingdom of Benin, the Kingdom of Oyo, the Kingdom of Mali, Kingdom of Songhai, and various different polities and civilizations. The universities of Timbuktu, of Jene, the Great Wall of Benin, which at its height was 10,000 miles long before it was destroyed, or Songbo Erido, which you hear me rap about in my fire in the booth, which is a moat dug around the Yoruba Kingdom of Songbo Erido, 20 meters wide, 70 meters deep, around an area of 400 square miles. The medieval libraries of Timbuktu have over 700,000 manuscripts still surviving until today and thankfully through the process of translation you can buy many of these primary source materials today in books like this. For more information on the history of pre-colonial West African civilizations see any of the books below and do your own research. My teacher Robin Walker has a load of great books written for young people or for adults on this particular subject on a broad range of African civilizations and histories with all the primary source material because um, there are a lot of perceptions about pre-colonial Africa and about African history both presently and in the past that are not accurate. Thankfully today, with just a little bit of reading, all of the information is out there. Thank you. Big up.